over the last few years, the fragility of certain groups within society seems to have increased. Now, this is mainly seen among younger people, but in no way does that imply that everyone under the age of 25 is constantly teetering on the edge of bursting into tears. In fact, here in the UK, we've got many youngsters who are happy to sell drugs and stab one another. Nevertheless, there seems to be an increase in the number of people from schools, universities, and most notably among the liberal elite, who seem to be going out of their way to be offended by everything. This can be seen in how many places of education and even the last Labour Party conference have designated safe spaces. I find this bizarre because surely we should be striving towards a society where everywhere is a safe place. But sadly, we're now in the situation where if someone is addressed with the wrong pronoun, they have to have a special room to run to to cry their fucking eyes out for half an hour. A, a, a stranger a, approached me and he went up to my dog and said, Who's a good boy? He's assuming my dog identifies as male. And before we get going, if you are a self-appointed member of the pronoun police, please consider this. If I wake up tomorrow morning and decide I'm going to identify as a woman, calling myself Disgruntled Danny with an I, Disgruntled Danielle, it's understandable if people still see me as male, because clearly I am. This. So even though I may have chosen to identify as a woman, for thousands of years people have referred to one another and themselves as male or female. And it's only in the last few years a few people have started fucking moaning about it. Just to add, if you are a trans person, I wish you the best on your journey wherever you are at the moment. But if you're one of these desperate attention seekers going out of your way to be offended by every bloody thing, consider this. If the worst thing that's going on in your life is people may address you by your non-preferred pronoun, You've got a pretty good fucking life going on. They aren't moaning about this in Syria and Afghanistan. Well, the bad news is my entire family were killed by a roadside bomb today. But on the plus side, my neighbour referred to me as a lady. And as for the people who don't identify as male or female, the non-binary crowd. Do you know how insane it sounds to identify as not being something? For example... I don't identify as an 18th century manor house with private stables and a fishing lake. Yet I don't feel the need to tell people that. Anyway, on to the main rant. Now, I would have hoped that people of a social justice persuasion would have run out of new things to moan about. But no, it transpires that some young people are now offended by punctuation. In a discussion which began on Twitter... It transpired that some overly sensitive souls interpret that when another person uses a full stop or period, that that is a sign of anger or aggression. Therefore, they find it intimidating. Ergo, using correct grammar is now a form of bullying. For those who think that a full stop is a form of non-physical assault, let's just be clear. A full stop simply denotes the end of a sentence. The best tweet I found on this subject was this one. This unfortunate young lady who feels physically sick when someone uses a full stop. And if this is you, and I sincerely hope this doesn't apply to anyone watching this video. If the use of grammar causes you to feel unwell because you're such an utter fucktard that basic literacy is beyond your grasp... That's on you, not on anyone else. And this needs stopping now, because if we don't, who knows what will trigger these people in the future. Parents may get home to find their 37-year-old gender non-specific child, who of course still lives with them, laying on the floor in the living room, shaking uncontrollably because the TV was on standby and the red dot looks like an angry full stop casting its judgment upon them. Or if you're playing board games, someone throws the dice and a person gets up and runs out screaming because it's like all of the full stops have shouted at them at once. Ah! So 
that's where we are as a society, where there are people who feel traumatised by seeing a full stop. I guess seeing an exclamation mark would probably fucking kill them. Thanks for watching.